welcome to this week's Record Wrap, and here's what's been happening across the South Pacific. It Is Written has made its long-awaited return to Australian free-to-air television. The show, now hosted by pastors John Bradshaw and Eric Flickinger, commenced broadcasting in 1956 and remains the Seventh-day Adventist Church's most effective message-based television program in the world. Its return to television is the result of more than 12 months of effort by many people across the church organisation. It is written can be viewed at 6am Australian Eastern Standard Time on Channel 72. Around 50 Seventh-day Adventists attended the 9th annual Sydney Prayer Breakfast held at the International Convention Centre at Darling Harbour on June 5. Representatives from the Greater Sydney Conference, South Pacific Division, Avondale College, as well as local church pastors and church members, joined more than 1,300 people of faith who came together to pray for God's blessings upon Sydney. Greater Sydney Conference President, Pastor Terry Johnson, expressed his enjoyment at being able to pray with other Christians and aims to fill seven tables with Adventists at the event next year. Literature evangelism leaders gathered in Sydney on June 4 to discuss the restructure of literature ministry in Australia and New Zealand. The meetings reviewed a survey of over 60 literature evangelists and identified a need for continued support of the ministry, including the availability of better resources, as well as the ongoing need for prayer. It's been so great to be able to consult widely with our literature evangelists and throughout our church, because if we want to go fast, we go alone. Uh, if we want to go far, we go together. We want to see plans made where our literature evangelists and members are supported in the important ministry of distributing literature. And finally, on June 2, Mendy District in the Western Highlands mission of Papua New Guinea hosted its district camp meeting at Wack Wack Church. Stewardship and Family Ministries Director, Pastor Leighton Casimo and his wife conducted skills training on financial literacy, sewing and tailoring, flower decorating and draping. 30 sewing machines were repaired by Pastor Casimo for the classes and attendees were grateful to learn new skills. I'm Mary Ellen Fairfax and that's all for this week's Record Wrap Bulletin. Before we go, we'd like to give a massive shout out to the early teens from Burns Creek Seventh-day Adventist Church in Honiara, Solomon Islands, who watch our bulletin every Sabbath. You guys are awesome. Until next time, God bless and have a great weekend.